Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, in this video presentation, I am going to explain PPV with dislocated PCIUL exchange and single haptic scleral fixation of PCIUL. The video was edited and produced at Wabda Teaching Hospital Complex, Lahore, Pakistan. The author carries no financial interest in this video. These are the pre-op pictures. We identified three problems: one, infronasal PC rent; two, scattered nuclear and cortical lens fragments; and three, dislocated wandering PCIUL was noticed lying on inferior retinal surface. The surgical video follows. First of all, we decided to strengthen the pre-placed IUL in CN site, and then routine preparation of the three-port pass plan of vitrectomy is underway and uh, irrigation cannula as per routine is going to be placed first here it comes the irrigation was turned on and then turned off and it is secured in place with the help of pre-placed stay suture and similar kind of uh, stay sutures are to be placed in supratemporal and supranasal quadrant as well so then the ring is being tied for placement of the contact lens anterior chamber is being cleared of the remnants of the lens matter with the help of simco irrigation cannula and then viscoelastic is injected into the anterior chamber and we proceed with the vitrectomy under microscope for the interior part of the vitreous and through the rent interior vitrectomy is underway and while performing vitrectomy we realized that the pseudofcos was already floating in mid vitreous cavity and the margin of the lens became visible in the visual axis so we altered our plane and decided to remove this wandering suit of course first so we removed the ring and here you can appreciate more clearly the intactness of the capsule supratemporally and the wandering PCIUL lying infronasally so bimanual technique is going to be used to grab and retrieve the IUL once the intravitreal forceps got hold of haptic optic junction the pre-placed sutures were cut and removed and the wound was enlarged for easy and safe delivery of the optic of the IUL and with the handshake technique the sort of cause is removed once it goes out so the sigh of relief is there and remnants of the vitreous and cortical matter are being cle cleared first anteriorly and you can realize that supratemporally the capsule is intact and infronasally the capsule is like lacking so we decide to fixate one of the IOL haptics infronasally and thus partial thickness scleral flap was prepared and straight proline needle is passed one millimeter behind the limbus directed towards the center of the vitreous cavity and then redirected anteriorly and retrieved through the IUL in CN with the help of a visco cannula acting as a spatula and then the knot is being secured at the point of maximum convexity on the haptic of the IUL and the tied haptic is placed first behind the iris and is dialed in position by applying gentle traction on the fixation suture while the superior haptic is going to be placed on remnants of the posterior capsule supratemporally with the help of a dialer once the position and centration of the IUL is assured the fixation suture knot is tied beneath partial thickness scleral flap by recurving the needle and taking a partial thickness bite and the suture is tied to itself and secure 3111 knot is applied and the ends are trimmed short and now we readdress the 
the remaining part of our pass plan of vitrectomy. The lens is in place and biomanual pass plan of vitrectomy is performed and you can notice the remnants of the lens fragments lying in front of the disc. Once this whole vitreous and the cortical matter is cleared up, the ports are closed with the help of pre-placed sutures and in the end the irrigation port for irrigation cannula is also closed and it tension of the eye is achieved the subconjunctival injection is applied and these are the post operative pictures and the patient is still under our follow up thank you very much for your attention thank you all